Hello everyone, this is Nick and I'm here with Joe and we're going to be doing commentary on the game between Finnish Shitters and the Monsters main team from the 2016 September monthly tournament and this was a quarterfinals game on Georgia. Okay, let's go into the game. Yeah, hey guys, um, I think there were a lot of requests for this game actually. I don't know, from a couple of people. Alright, we're in the same one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so Finnish it is, is running a build that they were running through most of the map. Uh, Solar Frontline, Paragon, Tomb, Esmerelli. I've talked about this build before, I've called it the counter build because it you know, relies a lot on the way shields to do a lot of damage. It's kind of surprising that Finnish Hitters would run this build considering they have two very strong frontlines. Um, running a build with one frontline is an interesting decision for them. They think that this build is very strong and they actually did have a lot of success with it in the map, winning every game in the Swiss rounds. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I personally feel like the build is very strong because it's very flexible, but yeah, I was also surprised they didn't run the version they usually run with two frontliners, Paragon and two Mesmers, especially on Druids, a map that's uh, really hard to split on. And for main, we have the two frontline Ranger Mesmer Paragon. So it's possible that they won't have uh, any campable targets from Wastrels, so NS's Wastrels may not get that much done, assuming the Mesmer for Mean has a Wastrels cancel. He is holding the flag right now, so I would assume that he does, otherwise it would be a risky place to hold the flag. Yeah, it looks like both teams are just holding the flag on uh, their Mesmer, which is pretty standard nowadays. Uh, it's really risky to hold your flag on your Ellie, especially against these uh, Mesmer builds. So we see Yoko did use Dark Escape, so that's the measurement for me. And he's running Power Block, and I'm assuming Godly will have Power Block as well. Godly hasn't been running Chain and Diversion recently, he's been running um, some extra skills like Blackout and Wastrous Cancel or Shadow Hex or something, so it'll be interesting to see what skills he has. Fire running Wastrous Bar and Life running Flesh Wind Paragon. Actually, the blackout uh, seems to be like throughout the map been really effective for them since they're running a paragon instead of an extra frontliner. It's almost like a super hard spike where Gali can shut down two monks at once if he P blocks one and then blackouts the other. So they see the ranger seems to be struggling to get off a lot of poison spread through the paragon. So it is looking like Main's build is their pressure is being countered a little bit right now. The flesh wound. So it might be a little bit hard yeah. to score kills. Yeah, it seems like Godly is basically just playing in Mean's backline, and Mean doesn't really have a good way to counter that. I mean, they just did a death charge to try to spike him. But, uh... And Yoko just used Arcane Theory, but he's. So it looks like he's been maybe stealing skills from Mesmer's, but he's taking a lot of damage from Wastrel, so he might not actually have a Wastrel's cancel. So holding the flag on him might be quite risky. If he keeps taking this much damage. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't seen his bar exactly, but yeah, it looks like he's having a really tough time dealing with this waste trolls, and it doesn't seem like he has very much energy either. So Main is getting quite low health from this some of these spikes. You see how far Sink is sitting back. It looks like he just wants to avoid shutdown and uh, I don't know if he's joining in spikes all that much. See that? Was, was that just 32 damage from distracting shot on the sink? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't catch that. But yeah, that that would be very interesting. That was good. Oh well, they just got Yoko with a huge spike. Must have been the waste trolls combined with uh, their full damage spike. Yeah, there's the flag return. There's the flag. That's gonna be very difficult for Yoko now because that might snowball against him considering it doesn't look like he can cancel the wastrels off very easily. Well also it's just very difficult for me and with their team comp to run a flag effectively. Um, it looks like they're going with their number 8 now but that's really risky especially if Godly lands like a good p-block or a blackout. Yeah. And Godly yeah, now has two monks the boss. Stand. Godly with the boss will it will help him immensely if he can keep his boss to spam his skills a lot and especially with the blackout. The blackout will be in path very fast and be able to catch up to these monks to use it on them. So the main yeah, it seems to like it. it seems like NS is usually the strategy that is very effective when there's only two monks at main. You just shut one down and then train the other one out. Yeah, so getting a lot of damage yeah, on main's backline. 
Scoring yeah, there goes kills. number six. Yeah, it looks like they're just doing the exact same thing. Look at Gali, he's literally just standing next to their number seven and blanking him out on recharge while they train out number six. Yeah. I don't think the main can afford to run on Flagger like this. I think that they probably need to run on the Ranger or the Mesmer. Probably the Ranger because the Mesmer will probably only have Dark Escape, it's so it'll be pretty slow, but the Ranger is not really being all that effective fighting against the Flesh Wound and inside the regeneration area. So it would be nice to maybe see them uh, try and do something else with the Ranger, maybe start pushing or just doing anything else that isn't this ABA because this is an ABA that looks very difficult for me to win, especially with the Boston Goblin now. Yeah, it looks like they're having trouble like applying any sort of pressure and they are running a pressure build with a Ranger. Um, I think the best aspect of having a Ranger, especially on Druids, is his ability to flag push. Especially since uh, NS looks to be running their flags on their Mesmer rather than their Ellie. So they would have to send two things to deal with the Ranger if the Ranger pushed. Yeah, and also the, the Lightning Surge sync. I think that he was running Spirit Bond or Matt, so if he is Spirit Bond, then he actually he does won't have deal Spirit with Bond. The... Yeah, okay, he can't deal with the Ranger then if the Ranger decides to push. He can't deal with it very easily anyway, because the Ranger, which is Burning Arrow, will be able to take him out uh, without too much trouble. Well, it looks like NS is just double running with the Ellie and the Mesmer to get ahead on flags. Um, Mean is just slowly well, falling behind. Well, they did double run one flag, so it seems like they got back ahead. But once NS comes with this flag, it looks like Mean's gonna be behind again. It'd be interesting to see what mm -hmm. Mean runs on. Yeah, well, it looks they like they're going back damage. with their, uh, their warrior right now. They're, they're going back with their warrior right now. That should relieve all the pressure on NS then, I think, and allow NS to play extremely aggressively. Well, it looks like uh, Mean is just playing defensively. Uh, I just saw Sync get P blocked, I think. Or yeah, he just got D shot on his lightning search. So it looks like uh, Mean is just trying to run flags and get back ahead on flags while playing defensively with the Ranger and the Mesmer. Yeah, Gully is just playing completely aggressively right now. I'm not even bothering about the Mesmer or anything else. Well, the poison. Well, so it's think... really good news for I NS think... that they can keep this up. Yeah. Well, I think NS is just with their build composition right now. I think they're just purely playing a spike build, especially since Mean doesn't have a really good Wastrel's target. I guess Yoko is a decent target, but uh, it looks like the way they have to try to score kills is for Gali to shut down one of the monks and then them to get a clean spike with all their damage. But I mean, that's a lot better than Mean because Mean, it looks like they have zero kill pressure right now. Yeah, and this is still getting quite close to killing on the Dervish and the Mesmer while Mean free backline is there, free more backline. Well, well, Mean is constantly running on their warrior, so their chances of killing, especially. Oh, there's a bull strike oh, and kill on the 40 40 set of uh, Yoko and bull strike and 40 40 and spike that. That's really yeah, rough. Yeah, now he's, he has 386 life, like an L surge and some Wastrel's damage plus a shatter could just kill him. So that's. I mean, especially with all the midline damage that NS has, they have a Wastrels and l and a Paragon. Like, Yoko's at the health where you can easily get midline spike now. Yeah, and we now see NS running on the number 8 and still taking no pressure while running on Monk. So that's great news for NS that they can play this aggressively. Getting pushed now by the Ranger though, but it won't do anything. Yeah, well, I mean, it's hard for Mean to do any pressure if they're having their uh, number one warrior run flags, but right now it doesn't seem like they really have another option. I mean, Yoko is just taking tons of damage from this Wastrels. Like, he's trying to play in the back, but they're still finding ways to uh, try to camp him. Yeah, it looks like Hima is really hunting Yoko down right now. Every time he comes in, it looks like Hima is trying to spike him out. Oh, yeah, Enes is doing a really good job of um, keeping up on flags as well. Yeah, look how much they're just like... hunting down Yoko right now. And his dog is going yeah, Hemo's down. just chasing him around the map. Oh, oh he just had a bull. That might be another kill. Damn, that was really yeah. close. Oh, that was a pretty clutch spare bun that I think came in right after the shatter. Yeah, that was great timing. So Ennis running but, on their Monk Flagger again. Mean really have to change up their strategy. Looks like they're running well, on Ranger now though. Well it's difficult for Mean 
because they, in order to kill, they need their mesmer to be able to shut down the monks. But he's just, I mean, it's difficult for him to do anything right now. Yeah, Mean has started running on the ranger there, so that might they might be able to get some pressure now that they have two front lines at Main permanently. Yeah, that seems like a better strategy. They're double for them. running on the warrior looks like now, but the warrior's going back. Mean is still taking. It looks like uh, NS is just really trying to get on their monks hard. I mean, look so, at the positioning so. from from Godly, as well as uh, NS's Paragon. Like they're literally just sitting in the back line. Yeah, and there's still absolutely Usually, no pressure on NS, even though they're yeah, oh, they're running on sync now, actually. Which yeah, is usually um, the flesh room paragon is really strong, but its only weakness usually is because uh, it takes a lot of damage from getting trained due to having minus armor. But uh, it seems like their paragon is just able to sit in the back line and not take any pressure. The main is double running again, and NS is running on sync. I think we're probably getting a bit low on energy considering they've been fighting in this AVA for 10 minutes. It looks like NS is actually double running now on the Mesmer as well. Taking a little well, bit more damage than before, but we'll be fine, I'm guessing. Well, I think this is a fine play from NS because they're just trying to play it slow and um, knowing that Mean really has very little kill pressure on them. So they're just trying to make sure they never fall behind on flags because the only way. Uh, theoretically, they could take pressure is if they fall behind on flags and then Mean gets a 7v8. Yeah. I think that, yeah, NS might just be looking to try and get ahead on flags and hold an AV8 for as long as they can, which would allow them to get the kill on the Mesma potentially. Which already has some DP. But the Mesma yeah. is sitting quite far back at the moment. But there's really nothing that uh, Mean could do, I think, if NS was to try and just push up and camp him out. They are running again yeah, on the Mesmer yeah. though, on their wave shields, so it'll be hard for them to score kills maybe in the meantime while they do this. Since a lot of their kill pressure well, came from the wave shields. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But I think they're just working on getting ahead on flags. Um, yeah, but once they're ahead on flags and the wave shields comes main, it's going to be really dangerous for this Mesmer once again. So Mean is actually not running another flag yet, so if NS gets this flag in and Mean haven't run yet, it's going to be very hard for Mean. Especially seeing how low that Mesmer got just there, even without the extra damage character of NS at Main Team. That's going to bode very badly for uh, Mean if if NS can get this flag in before Mean starts running. Yeah, well, the Mesmer, it's just so difficult for Mean because, like I said before, in order for them to have pressure, the Mesmer needs to be able to shut down the monks. But every time the Mesmer pushes up, he just gets trained, like, constantly. You see P-Block on sync there from Yoko, but Yoko is quite pushed up, and he's actually going to get spiked. And his Dark Escape is down, yeah, boom, he... clutch infuse. Yeah, that was a great infuse, because he, he had a bulls wall in Wastrels, so that could definitely have been a kill if not for that infuse. Yeah, and had sync up in P-Block there, it would have been a kill as well, I'm sure. Should have Dark Escape up. God, Kali still has the boss. This is one of the few games where I've seen where a Mesmer gets boss and just like keeps it for essentially like all, almost 10 minutes now, I think. Yeah, well it appears that Ming just don't have a particularly strong build at taking out boss characters. Like they don't have any alleys and they can't really cause much pressure so they, they have no way to really take out the boss very easily, it seems. Yeah, it's very difficult. Um, the best way to deal with a caster with a boss is to snare it and train it down, but it seems very difficult for uh, Mean to be able to do that with their build composition. It looks like Sink is running up to split a little bit, which is pulling up Mean's team to sort of push up on him and not let him have the opportunity to run on split side. Uh, he just took out the back archer, and uh, I mean this is splitting Mean up too, but. Uh, it doesn't look like either team is accomplishing very much. Well, it's an interesting decision because if Sync tries to split, it will actually give the Ranger of Main something to do because all he can do right now is run flags since he's so useless in Main Team because of the compositions. But if Sync decides to split, then it would let the Ranger actually be useful and defend him, as as we see he's doing right now. Oh, but another That's kill. True. I think. Um, oh. Yeah. Forty forty again. 
Yoko's 45 now. I mean, one more kill and he's gonna be 60. He just rezzed. He, he probably has around like 320 life. A little bit of a skirmish going on around the uh, split of NS. Won't score any kill there. But oh, actually, Ming takes the death of the main team as their monk was pushed up to save the split. I mean, it looks like this split is actually working for NS, even though theoretically um, it doesn't. Yeah, it's working uh, I'm quite not well. Sure why, well Ming but is it is working quite there. well. It seems like the Ranger might have done like a little bit. Uh, for defense at main team, I don't know. Well, I think that what happened was that uh, Mean was trying to skirmish NS, which was forcing them to be out of position and send the monk to skirmish, which was disadvantageous for them. Looks like Sync will get taken out right now, actually. He gets caught up by the Ranger and can't really heal himself. He eats a shatter and taken out, but that'll still be fine for NS. Yeah, I mean, that's unfortunate, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's a huge deal for NS. Um, yeah. Especially yeah. since, I mean, especially since they have a really DP Mesmer and a relatively DP Prompt Monk. And that's two targets they can just keep spiking over and over. It's yeah. going to be really hard yeah. for me to keep both of them up. If NS splits again, it might be beneficial for Mean to just wait till Sync runs inside Mean's base so that they can then collapse on him instead of trying to skirmish in the open. Because skirmishing in the open will draw more of Mean characters and make it more difficult to keep this Mesmer alive at Main Team. Yeah, exactly. The sink is uh, splitting again. We'll see how Mean responds. Well, I think at this point, Mean is almost like they have no pressure main. It's almost like the best. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess they can keep running flags to force one damage character from NS to run flags. But otherwise, I mean, it seems very difficult for them to push out. Yeah, so the Ranger is dealing with Sync right now, so I'm just pushing him up a little bit instead of letting him push into the base. Uh, it looks like it's just stalled in front of Mean's base. Um, is Mean? Yeah, Mean is uh, the good. The one good thing about being close to their base, uh, Mean to their own base, is at least they can like double run flags very effectively that way. Well, it might be beneficial for me to start capping their own seed right now, considering how difficult it is for them to win this APA. They're jumping on sync right now, but nice save from the monks of NS. Yeah, well, sync is probably the only character they could potentially kill if they get him snared and then oh. trained out. But there's another really clean spike on the dervish. Wow, this is a rough flag to get in. This ranger is taking a lot of wasteful damage. It's a bull strike as well. Bull strike. Oh, getting so close to dying. Yeah, I don't know how many might die. Yeah, they're gonna waste a lot of energy for this though. I mean, Nin is in a really bad spot right now. They're fighting seven v eight or six v eight actually. It looks like they're fighting six v eight. Yeah, the warrior is yeah. uh, splitting off. Might be capping the vine seed actually, which would be a great move. Yeah, he's running yeah, the he is. It's actually a very smart idea, like you said before. Yeah, if they can if they can cap the vine seed and then pull their main team into their base, it will give them opportunity to get the flag out. And well, Mean is doing exactly around. that. Like that's the smartest move right now, especially with the dervish down. Well, the problem is probably forty five yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, their smartest move is to try to bay NS into their base and try to get a flag out or split around and looks then like hope Sink to survive is, until 28. Looks like, looks like Sync is trying to control the vine seed uh, direction. He's getting collapsed in right now though, but he'll be fine. Well, his, his whole team is right there. Uh, but, I mean, it's gonna be hard for Sync to really stop this ranger from splitting if he just runs. Yeah, there we go. We see the split coming out now with the vine seed. So this is a great move by me. And the monk is in position to help them as well, sitting next to the vine seed. So yeah, I really think it's great because yeah, NS doesn't. Their flagger is going to main team, so he's not even going back anymore. They don't have a backup flag, yeah. so it looks like NS is doing the safe thing and pulling everybody out. Yeah, for as long as yeah. NS tries to push in Main's front gate rather than over the bind seed, it's going to give Main a lot of options to split. So 
says. Split is getting collapsed on quite hard by NS. They probably want to get a flag out and really don't want to let Mean boost. Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. Wow. Uh, mean got Push three me. people. Is NS defending with only two, it looks like? Mean has three people out of it. Oh no, they have oh. three people. Never mind. Oh. Nice no, they have three people. Nice they have uh, Mesmer here as well. But um, yeah, Mean just successfully stalled this game another like two minutes by doing this maneuver. Like, it looks like they're stealing, like they're, from this. they're stealing the vine seed of uh, NS actually as well. Which would be yeah, fantastic for them if I can cap this. This is like great defensive uh, tactics. The so basically stall tactics for me. Just running around and uh, not taking any deaths for it. Looks like the ranger might be dead there. Possibly uh, even after time if Sink can keep up with him. Chain lightning. Actually, he might I get think, away. I think, I think the Sink ranger is going to get away. Himself. Yeah, well, I think uh, Sink may a slight mistake there by casting that chain lightning. If he just ran and waited for his Elsar to recharge, he would have got him. Yeah, and the ranger but, does make I it mean, back. Ennis is, is still in a great position. Like, I mean, they have the Mesmer with 45 DP holding this flag. Like, I would just train it out right now. That's so risky for me in holding this flag on this Mesmer. And Ennis looks like they are going to get the flag in. Okay, uh, they just they just yeah, handed the flag, the flag off. off to the flagger. He's just gonna cap straight away. I'm gonna see this Mesmer get camped again, I'm sure. Yeah, well, Mean really doesn't have any option right now except to pull back to their base again. Like, if they try to aviate at all, they're just gonna get their 4 and their 60 beat out. Yeah, but it looks like uh, NS is following them rather than running over the Vine Seed, so it will allow Mean to split back out over the Vine Seed if they manage to get back to their base. They're taking a lot of damage still. I think this warrior is doing a good job by just occupying one, sometimes even more of NS's characters. He's just being annoying. Yeah, he's got around three characters around him right now. Two of them following and one running flag. Yeah, but NS is still getting kills. They might get a monk wipe here. A monk wipe here is probably the game, but it looks like somehow Mean is not hasn't wiped yet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it looks very, like they very just close. barely, yeah, they just barely survive. I mean, they had one monk down and then two deep, basically DP'd monks. Like, it's pretty good of them to survive that. Oh, mean might get this, this not just don't get the flag. Nope. That was a risky play, but I guess it's at least I get the base res, and it was kind of a nice timing. They were drawing these plays off, which maybe allowed these monks to stay alive. Well, yeah, well, actually, like, that ranger play looked, like, pretty dumb because it looks like he just suicided, but it might have saved them the game because it forced NS to send people back to deal with him. So Min is going to have to try and find a way to get their players out right now. Sink is watching the vines hit, so it'll be interesting to see what Min does. I think what Min has to do is send people in different directions because I mean, yeah, I think if they try and bait the front door, then it would make Sync run to the front door and then they can run out the vine seed. If they run flag out the front door, then it would bait them to follow the front door. Yeah, well, it looks like that's what they're trying to do right now. They're running front door with their warrior. Yeah, with the flag. This is a nice play. We'll probably see the ranger run out the yeah, vine seed yeah, we'll now, probably, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yep, Sync is following yeah. right on top of them. But the ranger is not yeah, running that... out. Puts me under a lot of pressure trying to follow this flag very far. Well, they just suffered another death from their number eight. It looks like they're trying the exact. They're trying the tactic again, except the warrior is. I don't know what the warrior is doing. He's running around the base, I guess. Oh, he's going out the front now. It looks like he got out. Wow, nice. Looks like the death pack was taken out, so it might be a base res on this monk, which could mean some NPCs might get lost. But uh, NS is following yeah. this with damage, so it might be difficult for them to take out NPCs while they follow this with Ellie. Yeah, I'm really surprised they actually follow this with an Ellie, but they st they're still getting kills. I mean, that's a death to the Paragon. The Ranger is now out as well, getting followed by the Flagon, so it'll be two against two. I mean, will probably just run away from it. No, it does not. Yeah. There's no way that Mean can send out another player right now. 
they have to really wait for the base res to, to do anything. So they're just yeah pulling these guys back and this warrior might be dead if Sink can keep up with him, but Sink hasn't got his speed boost up, so the warrior might be able to get away. I think the warrior is probably gonna. I mean, he does have sprint, so it's gonna be difficult for Sink to catch him. He uses his lightning strike there without any exhaustion, so that will really not do all that much damage. He might be able to get well, a lightning strike on this corner. Mean is taking this time to just send basically everybody. Like they're sending half their team out of their base. This dervish is running. Sink is gonna get um, caught in the corner, so the warrior will probably get away. I think. Yeah, warrior gets away. But they have a flag. Uh, so this is great stalling by me. Yeah, they're gonna get this flag through. It looks like there's uh, there's no backup flag for NS. So I mean, if this dervish doesn't die here. It could be good for me. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Mean just probably stalled another two minutes until 26, because NS will probably want to run another flag to prevent Mean from boosting right before 28. It looks like NS is going to be running on their wastrels. We're probably going to see... Okay, so the Mesmer from Mean is running flag out right now. I'm sure he's going to drop it when he gets close. Yeah, there we go, he drops it. So we'll probably see if he comes to main team, NS will probably try and run at him straight away, I, I think. If he even gets close to Hima. That makes sense. Uh, mean, well, I mean, it's already 25-30. I mean, Mean has to think of a strategy of how they're going to get to NS's base at 20. I mean, they have the warrior there, which is, he's in good position. They're getting actually nice positioning. See, they're splitting yeah, around yeah, their back yeah, door right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, they have actually, yeah, pretty decent positioning. I mean, uh, it looks like they're gonna beat. They're ahead of Ali, so they're definitely they're gonna get there before Ali. So if they run fast, they might have a three damage versus one monk situation. Ali's actually getting. Oh, Ali is PNA, so he won't be able to be crippled by his ranger. This is still. This is still dangerous for NS. I mean, they're fighting 4v3 out in the open. So, four damage characters for main. Guess, okay, Sink KD on 40-40 and goes down! Okay! So, we'll see if the mess yeah, is red. I mean, Probably doesn't have res because he is dash. So, Sink might be dead for the rest of the game. Wow, me... I mean, this is looking good for mean. Uh, what is NS? NS is getting lower damage. I mean, let's see how much lower damage NS is getting. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like they're getting very much. They've only much. got four, four guys here getting low damage. Yeah, can they even get low damage? The Lord is getting hit for zeros. Well, like they're not I don't in even the pitfall yet. Yeah. I mean, it seems like they're getting a little bit. Let's see what uh, Mean is doing on the other side. So yeah, Mean has sent one monk uh, to NS's base. And NS will just have a Wastrels defending as the damage. So if their Ellie was alive, they would kill this push in like a second. Because the Ellie is dead. Uh, they're able to get a lot of lore damage right now. And they can actually get the Knight down as well. So wow, this is teams great are news. Taking... Yeah. Great news for me. It looks Not like so both teams are taking a lot of pressure. Like, look look at Mean though. They're like, they're dying in the base even without the Ulcer Jelly from NS. Well, yeah, but the Elsa Jelly would definitely, they would rather have the Elsa Jelly in this composition than the Wastrels, I think, because... Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. The I monk mean, is able Wastrels to cancel out the Wastrels. Soloing their, their flagger by himself, almost. If they had an Elsa Jelly here defending as well, like, I don't think Mean would be able to get any low damage. But I don't think NS got very much low damage either. Yeah. I think that it looked like, uh... Yeah. Ming got quite a lot of more damage and NS was just not able to get well, as much, probably. I th yeah, that yeah, I so guess, that, yeah, I guess that was really brutal. Yeah, I think uh, without that death, I think NS would have won. I don't think they got very much lower damage, but I don't think Mean would have gotten any. Yeah, I think without that Ellie death, uh, Mean definitely would have died pushing the pit there and it would have, they would have not been able to get really any lower damage. Right. Wow, I mean, that was a very interesting game. Yeah, congratulations to Maine, and thank you for watching. Bye.